Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm inspired to share a few of the accessories that I've been uh, using over the years and have found extremely useful and actually improved the uh, sonic performance of the turntables I've had. Um, so first, uh, let's talk about turntable isolation. Um, if you have suspended for floors like I do in my main system upstairs um, and if you have a lighter turntable like the Riga um, or even a medium weight turntable like uh, the VPI Travelers, the entry level VPI Travelers um, even though I have a heavy built stand with heavy components underneath uh, footfalls are a problem um, when someone walks by I can hear the uh, warble in the music as the record's playing um, and I can hear the warble as I get up from my listening chair to change the record I can hear through uh, and external resonances as well when uh, you have appliances running in your home um, HVACs, AC, ACs, uh, the fridge <laughs> the dishwasher or the washing machine uh, they have some low level vibrations low hertz going through your floor and walls uh, into your stand and eventually reaching your turntable um, platforms like these this is just one example that I found useful platforms like these act like a mechanical filter uh, to reject those low frequency very low frequency uh, vibrations from reaching your turntable and tone arm and cartridge setup uh, so they don't excite them because the uh, stylus writing the grooves of your record player do not know the difference between uh, picking up um, the vibrations from the serrations of the groove or external vibrations like uh, footfalls or appliance noise so a mechanical filter is what it is it keeps the low frequency uh, vibrations from entering into your turntable. This one is by Aurelex. It's called the Isotone series. Uh, it's essentially an MDF, a three-quarter inch MDF carpeted uh, in some design and a sort of uh, dense acoustic form that they say is proprietary uh, in the bottom. Um, I found this uh, improved, essentially eliminated footfall. I could not hear any vibrations coming through uh, and the warble that I used to hear before, I don't hear it anymore. So very effective. Now uh, one could say, hey, all, the, all this is is like an MDF wrapped in carpet and uh, a foam block underneath. Maybe it is so, but the foam block feels a little different than uh, other foam blocks so maybe there is something to it but uh, you could you could give a DIY uh, but uh, I found this very effective um, if you want to have uh, if you want to watch a video of mine where I uh, review a Thorn G309 turntable and talk about suspension design uh, and uh, mechanical uh, and uh, isolation platforms acting as mechanical filters I'll put a link up there um, second essential is a stylus gauge. Uh, get yourself a stylus gauge if you do not have one, if you're just getting into the uh, turntable world. Uh, don't assume that it will come dialed in with the right gauge. Um, there are times uh, when the there will be uh, turntables you have that have a VTF dial gauge. Uh, while they might be accurate, the manufacturer specifications for for uh, cartridges have a range and I typically like to go from the maximum vertical tracking force uh, and take it down until I find the tone I like. Uh, I also use that in conjunction with uh, a test record that I'll also go through in a little bit. Uh, in conjunction with that um, you want a stylus force gauge that is accurate. Uh, something like this is inexpensive. Um, 
uh, you should be able to get that on eBay or Music Direct or any online site. It usually comes with calibrated mini weights all the way from uh, one gram to about five grams, this one did. So calibrated weights, um, small uh, easy features like it will not give you a reading until the load cell in this stylus gauge is perfectly level and stable. So things like that are useful to have and um, the stylus gauge is a must if you're just starting off uh, in the turntable world. Okay, um, now if you have a Rega Planar 3 turntable, the biggest upgrade I found is going to a Neo PSU outboard, uh, Neo PSU. Um, I have, I'll put some links up here for my review on the Neo PSU as well. In, in the improvement in Sonics was immediate. It was uh, uh, not subtle. It was the, the difference was large and to, to the better. Uh, what this does essentially is uh, provides accuracy of uh, the table speeds and also uh, improves the quietness of the motor. Okay. Uh, now, if you have a non Riga cartridge, um, like me, if you like experimenting with the non Riga cartridges um, or or a turntable and tone arm combination that does not have the three point setup like Riga does, then you need to have a protractor. Uh, some turntables come with uh, the um, stylus protractor. Um, they're pretty uh, spartan. They typically have one null point um, and that's essentially it. This is a DB Systems uh, alignment protractor. Uh, DBP10 is the name of the model. It's very simple to use. It, it comes in two pieces. Um, essentially you line the uh, line this up to the uh, spindle and you'd have to uh, align your cartridge tips to two points and make sure that the cantilever is perpendicular to these lines, not, not the body of the cartridge itself. Uh, the instructions are uh, written down here too as well. Uh, it's pretty uh, easy to go through and read. I'll post a link up or a picture of the uh, system as, uh, of the protractor system as well. Um, necessity, I believe, because uh, getting that cartridge and cantilever um, aligned to the null points as best as you can is absolutely needed to ensure uh, you're getting your stylus correctly on the grooves to get all the, as much fidelity uh, out of the cartridge you have as possible. Um, so i discuss is a test record. This is one example of a test record. Um, it's it's Hi-Fi News uh, Analog Test LP. Uh, what uh, this does is once you've aligned um, your cartridge and stylus, you can uh, play these and track by track uh, for example, on the Riga Planar 3, you have an anti-bias uh, setting. Uh, the anti-skate anti setting or bias setting. Uh, what it does is counter the tendency of the uh, force applied on the stylus while the, while the LP is playing uh, is to push it inward and anti-skate provides the equivalent counter force to make sure that your stylus is not riding on one edge of the wall of the groove and um, it's doing so uh, in balance. So this actually lets you check that setting audibly to see if there is a channel imbalance between left and right. Um, it does other things as well. Uh, if you have cartridges that, uh, if you have turntable and tone arms that allow you to uh, adjust the azimuth um, that is to ensure that your stylus is absolutely perpendicular. Uh, doing it visually is difficult because they're so small 
uh, it's not just the cantilever it's the stylus guaranteeing that the stylus uh, that you can really only see when it's magnified really large that piece needs to be perpendicular in the groove and you can do so audibly and electrically and uh, LPs like these um, uh, help you do that if you have if you want to do that electrically you'd have to purchase a Fosca meter separately that's another uh, expensive investment it's about $300 I haven't done that this allows you to do this audibly uh, at different uh, amplitudes so um, that's a very useful feature as well um, another useful uh, thing about the uh, test record this particular test record is it lets you check for residual system noise um, so they have unmodulated grooves here and you play at normal listening levels and you gently turn up the volume uh, if the if the level if the playback level is constant and not too noisy uh, then you're good but if you start getting um, with the volume increase if the noise increases and becomes uh, un, you know uncomfortably so then there is some sort of a mechanical problem uh, transmitting mechanical vibration into your uh, platter so that's something that, that allows you to uh, check um, the other thing this allows you to check uh, now this might seem elementary this has uh, channel identity and phase verification channel and phase uh, verification uh, you might think hey it's just simply a matter of connections it is but if you're like me and you have a pre-amplifier that is phase inverting and a power amplifier and uh, the pre-amplifier also drives subwoofers then it is useful to have this to ensure that in your connections while you're doing all these connections uh, right from uh, the tone arm uh, uh, leads into the cartridge down to your preamp connections to the power amp and power amp connections to the speakers and the preamp connections the subwoofers all that is done properly uh, this is a good way to check that um, I change out systems quite a bit and I've run into situations where things have been out of phase uh, and uh, they catch me by surprise so uh, having uh, having this uh, test LP has proven useful for me um, okay so lastly we'll talk about uh, slip mats. I guess we shouldn't call these slip mats. It's slip mats are for uh, DJs, I suppose. Uh, the term comes when uh, they're DJing, allowing the motor to still spin uh, while they're doing that, and not damaging the motor. But essentially, the work of a uh, platter mat, I say we should call that the platter mat, um, is that it uh, prevents unwanted resonances from uh, your record getting into your stylus and cartridge. Essentially, the simple ones prevent uh, resonances from the table reaching the record. Um, but uh, uh, there are some here, some other slip uh, platter mats here that I'll talk through. Go further by dissipating the energy in the record. Uh, quickly so it doesn't reach your uh, stylus which will pick up that uh, erroneous uh, um, uh, information and pass it on to uh, into your uh, music so typically the Rigas and the uh, PPIs come with a uh, slip mat which is a felt mat uh, it does its job it protects the LP from uh, the platter and all that but this is a dust static magnet and another annoying thing is that when you lift the record out this sometimes sticks to the record and you have to decouple it it's kind of annoying but the main thing is that it attracts dust hair um, and unwanted gunk and that, that obviously accumulates in your needle 
takes away needle life and your music uh, doesn't quite sound right. There are two things, uh, two mats I have here uh, to discuss. Uh, they both do the job. One is Acromat by Funk, Funk Firm. Um, this works quite well on uh, the VPI Traveler that I have and on the Rega Planar 3. Um, this guy is Herbie's mat. Uh, essentially both of them claim to do uh, just this. They not only protect, they not only reject resonances coming onto the record from external, uh, from your uh, platter, but the motion of the stylus moving in the grooves of your record while playing itself induces vibrations um, that need to be quickly dissipated away otherwise they will be feeding back into your cartridge and get and that will be picked up as erroneous signals and that's that's what you'll hear as distortion in your music or lack of accuracy uh, what these guys claim is that they dissipate they, they claim to impedance match your record meaning they provide the shortest exit path the quickest I should say the quickest exit path of those residences from the record um, into these mats to be dissipated away as uh, small tiny packets of heat uh, and I found this to work uh, much better than the felt mat uh, both these guys provide um, more of a 3d sound uh, more definition in uh, the bass and uh, the vocals side of things. Um, I feel this works better on the VPI. Uh, this works better than this on the Riga. I feel like this works best on the Riga. Again, there's not one solution for all, but uh, these guys are a good place to start with. Acromat by Funk um, and Herbie's uh, turntable mats. I'll Hopefully you saw the pictures I just posted. I felt that uh, these accessories that I've showed you improved uh, the sonics of my turntable setups and some of them I cannot do without, especially um, the protractor um, for non-Riga setups, uh, cartridge setups, and of course uh, the handy stylus gauge and my hi-fi test record. Um, I hope you found this useful. Um, if you do, please subscribe. Um, you are going to be seeing more content coming your way. Thanks for watching again.